Well, you guys got another video. Does this software improve your internet speed? It's called TCP Optimizer. It says the TCP Optimizer is a free, easy Windows program that provides an intuitive interface for tuning and optimizing your internet connection. It's been around for at least 20 plus years, and you can see the program can aid both the novice and advanced user for tweaking related TCP IP parameters in Windows, making it easier to tune your system to the type of internet connection used. This tool uses advanced algorithms and the bandwidth delay product to find the best TCP window for your specific internet connection speed. So it also provides easy tuning uh, for all related TCP IP parameters such as MTU and RWIN and even advanced ones like QoS, which is quality of service and TOS and things like that. So let's get it downloaded and installed it onto the system and then we can put it to the test to see whether it can improve FPS, also improve our upload and download speeds and lower latency on our connection. So before we get started, let's just have a look at some of the things that you need to watch out for. So if you're watching YouTube videos to tell you how to optimize your internet speed for gaming, and things like that, you have to be super careful because their settings may suit their connection on their internet. It does use templates to adapt to uh, tweak your settings, but the problem is uh, these can also make your internet connection worse. So be very, very careful when running this following a YouTube video because obviously at the end of the day, no hardware is the same and no internet connection is the same, okay? So bear that in mind. So there's tons of videos on YouTube telling you to run this to lower your ping, lower latency, and uh, you know basically get faster internet speed. A lot of that stuff is just hogwash, and it's not gonna improve your internet like that, or even give you a faster internet connection. It's just a little bit of a placebo, but we'll go through it and I'll show you in more detail, because no internet speed is the same and no PC hardware is the same. So following those could be damaging your uh, internet speed even more. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is first, we're gonna get a base speed test here by using some sort of internet speed uh, software here, and we'll get an idea of how fast our internet is, our download and upload, and it will also give us some milliseconds and things like that. So what I wanna point out here is why you would wanna optimize your internet speed if you're already getting super fast speeds. I really don't know. Remember, there's a lot of variables you have to take into account, like, for instance, the servers that you're connecting to, whereabouts are they in the world that you're connecting to them. That's going to make your milliseconds and your latency and everything else a lot different every time you connect to a different server. If you look at my latency here, I've got 12 milliseconds unloaded and loaded, 20 milli 29 milliseconds, and we also have uh, our upload, which is 110 Mbps. And we also have 1.1 Gbps, also download speed here. So pretty decent uh, speeds already. And I'm pretty sure you can't improve on that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator. Okay, so this is the actual program open now. Now we'll do a quick disclaimer here. I would not recommend you run this on your computer because it will change a lot of settings for your internet and you can make it worse. So be very careful. And this is not a tutorial on how to use the program. It's just a overview of a program and my opinion. So we've got connection speed here, which is 100 Mbps. And I've put it up the top because obviously I've got fast internet. Now you might have a slow internet and following someone on the internet uh, saying put it up here, this could make it worse for you. We've got advanced settings, BDP and MTU latency here. And these are the settings that you have. Now coming down here, uh, we have modify all network adapters. The check mark is already in there and this is set for this machine. Now this is all grayed out, it's on current and you can put this on optimal and apply this and it will use a template to basically change these settings and they are grayed out here and they're running off of some sort of template uh, depending on the scan that is done on your PC. Custom will allow you to make changes to this area here, and you would have to know what you're doing, otherwise you could end up making your internet worse. And at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, uh, how much do you expect to get out of your internet speed by doing something like this? You know, you're not gonna get a massive improvement. Some people in the comments are gonna say, oh, I got a massive difference to my internet speed. Well, that's just you. Uh, there's probably a majority of people that got worse speeds. 
So we're going to apply the optimal settings here and it's now done this. Again, you've got advanced settings here. If you went to custom, you can adjust these as well. If you know what you're doing, you can adjust these. But I'm using the built in optimal settings here because it's optimal and that means it's probably the best for my network adapter that we have. So I've got that set up there. So what we'll do is if you did want to tweak, you can do by using the custom options here. And there's plenty of uh, bump online that you can follow. And this is what we've got here. It's applying these changes, as you can see. These are the default values, the new values, and also we have old values. So if you look here, there's a few changes that it's going to make. Nothing too crazy. But again, uh, it's, it's not going to be anything that's major different from what I already had. So we've applied these optimal uh, settings here. And again, I can't see much difference there in those settings. Uh, but we'll let it do its thing. And it's taking a bit of time here. It's making a few adjustments. And it's going to need to reboot the system. So let's go ahead and quickly reboot the system. And we'll do another speed test. Now, it's not a definitive test, but it's a test nevertheless. And we can see what it does. OK, so we're back at the desktop here. And what we're going to do here is we'll run that speed test once more. So I'm going to open up the browser here. So what changes am I expecting to see? Well, there will be a change because every time you run this speed test, there's going to be a different result. And this is what makes people think that they are getting faster or improved performance. So now you can see we're getting less speed coming down. It's 940 Mbps, whereas before we had 1.1 Gbps. And of course, that's faster what we had before, but now we're getting slower speeds. Let's have a look at the actual show more info and we'll take a look there. And this is what people are going to do. They're going to dissect what you show here. And I don't see anyone doing any before and after tests when they tell you what to run on your PC. And again, it's the same with benchmarks and tweaks and stuff like that. They don't show before and after. So you just believe exactly what you're seeing there. So let's click on this here and there is a slight difference, albeit very small, but there is a slight difference. And this is what we call within margin of error. And you can run this test over and over and over and these results will change every single time. So when you see a before and after, don't think that you're going to get this in real time when you're playing your game because it's going to continually change throughout that game that you're playing. Also, like I mentioned before, when you're playing games, it uses UDP and not TCP. So basically, you're not going to get any improvement on the game front. And you can end up messing up your network settings, which was supposed to be designed for your uh, network speed. And you can end up breaking that and making it worse. So be very, very careful with what you run on your PC. It really is a placebo. A lot of people that will do a before and after will see a difference. And guess what? They believe that they have an improved uh, network speed. And really, you're not going to get an improved network speed. We actually have an overall Mbps worse than what we had before. But that doesn't mean anything because I can run this test again and it will change. And I'll show you that right now. So let's go ahead and run another test and you will see the difference that we get when I run it again. And it went up to the one uh, Gbps this time. And guess what? We're now getting eight milliseconds. It's gone down, but we're going on the loaded side, 26 uh, milliseconds. And the 110 Mbps has stayed the same at the bottom. And some people are gonna swear by that that TCP optimizer has made it better. And I only run that test once before, and I probably should have done a few tests, but again, you can see the test results here. And really, I can tell you right now, if I keep running it, it's going to change every single time like you're seeing right here. So let's run another test and we'll give it another go here. And now we're getting nine and now we're getting 28 on there. So you can see the differences every single time. Now, of course, you're going to get people jumping in the comment section who are avid tweakers and they're going to swear by that that has improved and we are now getting better performance. And theoretically, it will change. I'm not going to sit here all day running this speed test, but it will change every single time that you run it. 
So what is actually happening? Well, let me explain to you what happens when you're gaming, because this is what all this is about, is about gaming milliseconds and things like that. When you're in a lobby waiting to connect to a server, you're in a group of people. Depending on where those group of people are in the world will determine where you connect. Sometimes you can set preference for connecting to European servers only, and sometimes you're forced to accept the server that they give you. Now, obviously, if you are in a group of free Americans and you're the only one in the UK, guess what's going to happen? You're probably going to more than likely connect to a US server and it's going to end up causing you a lot more latency and a lot more problems with your connection because you're going through a lot more hops to get back to you and it's going to make your milliseconds go up and also your ping go up. And it's the same thing for them as well. Now, over the years, we used to rent servers from companies and we used to try to get the one with the lowest tick rate. So you get lowest uh, latency, the lowest milliseconds for you. And we used to get better pings on those servers, but they come at a cost. And again, depending on who you are or where you are and what you're connecting to will determine uh, what those servers are like. So you're going to see a lot of fluctuations going up and down all the time. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, the server's fault. It could be your on a time when it's really, really busy. And again, you're going to get a lower connection speed. So if you go on at late at night, you'll probably find the internet speed is a lot faster because a lot of people have gone to bed. But at five o'clock in the tea time and you're trying to play your game, that's when you're going to see it. Everyone is streaming movies and doing stuff, and it's going to affect the overall performance of your internet. So there's many other variables why you're suffering when you're playing games. If you're using uh, power over Ethernet connectors, they can have an issue. If you've got Wi Fi connectivity, they can have an issue. If you've got a lot of people in the household using uh, streaming devices at that particular time of the day and you're trying to play a game, that will have an impact on it. There's many reasons why. And if you have a really rubbish uh, router from your ISP and you haven't upgraded it, that can have an effect as well. There's loads of variables to take into account. So let's go ahead and put this back to default settings. So bear that in mind, guys. If you're watching some young lad on the internet, there's nothing wrong with tweaking your PC. But if you're doing something to try to improve something to a massive degree, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to make tweaks with TCP optimizer and make it improve your internet connectivity. It's just not going to happen. And if anything, it will probably make it worse. So bear that in mind if you're running these sorts of programs on your computer. Again, check with your parents if you're a young lad and you want to find out uh, why you've got slow internet speed. Maybe they're on a really budget package and you can improve that by upping your package to a higher premium internet speed and getting better internet connectivity. Depending where you are in the world, everyone has different. We have broadband here fiber and stuff like that. Some people may be on satellite internet and other things like that all around the world. You may be running it on a Wi-Fi point to point system. Who knows? People have different setups. So I'm going to run this and hopefully put this back to default settings. And straight away, I can see it's getting back up into the GPPS again, which is good. And we'll quickly uh, take a quick look at this and wrap this video up. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. So basically watch the video, thumbs it up and leave a comment because this will help with the YouTube algorithm and get more people to see stuff like this to stop people falling foul to a lot of false information out there on the Internet. Because I can guarantee you there's lots of variables you have to take into account when doing these sorts of things. A lot of people don't understand how complex networking is and also when you're playing a game running a few different settings in your registry is not going to change that much. Uh, your ISP is feeding you internet uh, connectivity, and they're going to give you the optimal uh, settings for your uh, PC. Once you install Windows on your PC, there's not much you can do that's going to make a vast difference to uh, your internet speed, even in your network adapter settings. It's just not going to make a major difference it might make it a bit more stable but it's not going to make a major difference to your speed this is to do with the package that you've purchased with your isp anyway i think we're going to wrap this one up i don't think we've seen a major improvement at all in our internet speed or latency or fps and we definitely haven't seen a, any minor improvements at all it's just a waste of time 
And again, I will just leave that one there. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I shall catch you in the very next video. If not, I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.